Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Throughout this CHM 256 video, we are going to talk about volumetric analysis and our focus will be on direct titration, which the application in daily life will be on the one, one industry. This video is brought to you by us, begin with me, Jasmine Binti Ahmad Faizal, Noor Atira Sofia Abdul Rahim, Alia Shafika Binti Azhar, and next, lastly, Noor Ali Estiha Binti Muhammad Hasrin. First, we will talk about the introduction, the theory of, of the winemaking, and then we are going to talk about the methodology and lastly about the discussion on the direct titration in wine industry and the conclusion. So let's begin. First of all, what is volumetric analysis? Volumetric analysis is the general term to describe a method in quantitative chemical analysis from the amount of substance which was determined by the measurement of the volume from where the substance occupies. It is also best uh, described as to determine the unknown concentration of a known reactant or shortly known as titration. What is titration then? Okay, so titration is a process which standard reagent of a known concentration for a burette or the titrate is added to a solution that contains analyte until the reaction between analyte and the reagent said to be competent or has reached the end point where the analyte changes to its consecutive color. Of course, in titration, what one must have is the skill in order to perform titration as it requires a lot of practice to get a right end point result. Thus, we must get ourselves familiar with the titration before we perform it. That's a little bit of what volumetric analysis is about. Now, let's get into our main focus which is direct titration. What is direct titration? Direct titration is a direct addition of standard titrant to analyte in the presence of acid-base indicator until the reaction is complete and reach the equivalent point. One of common example of direct titration is acid-base titrations. In winemaking industry, it is important to titrate the resultant sulfuric acid from the wine with the standard base. The end point can be determined once the titrant color changed from clear color to light pink. Direct titration also used in other industries such as the food industry, pharmaceutical industry, cosmetic industry, biodiesel, wastewater, medical diagnosis, and acid rain analysis. Next, my friend will describe the theory of the winemaking industry. Industry. For everyone's information, enology is another name for the science of winemaking. It has a long history. It's a craft that demands attention at every stage, from the grape selection to the last filtration, as the grapes ferment to produce the special liquid which is wine. So first, why is titration used in industry? The wine industry employs titration to control the pH, sulfur level, and TA or total acidity of the wine. A non-reactant with a non-concentration is added incrementally to a non-reactant with an unknown concentration during titration, a method of chemical analysis until an endpoint is switched. This is carried out in order to determine the reactant's concentration. A redox titration can be used to assess the sulfur content of a substance, such as wine. If a wine manufacturer wants to determine how much sulfur is in the wine, acid-based titration is the method for determining the pH and the TA. The flavor of wine is significantly influenced by its pH. So next, why is titration is important in winemaking? So, winemaking is characterized as both an art and a science, like many other areas of the creation of food and drink, to maintain the highest quality standards that please both consumers and authorities. Uh, every step of the craft is meticulously scrutinized. This process starts with the original viticulture that plant planting the harvesting of the grapes and frequently concludes with the chemical examination of the finished fermented product decades later. 
So also for diviners looking for reliable diagnostic markers of the wine quality and content, titration is an effective technique. It is highly regarded for its capability to determine with accuracy the concentration of a number distinct elements, including acids, esters, ethyl alcohol, salts, and several tiny molecule compounds. Titration technique allows winemakers to carefully regulate wine chemistry throughout processing to preserve the product's integrity because they may have a direct impact on quality attributes. Let's move on with the methodology. I will be presenting on how direct titration in wine industry. The materials for this experiment are 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide solution, phenolphthalein indicated solution, wine sample, and mayonnaise flask, and last but not least, 25 ml of puree. For the procedure, firstly fill the puree with 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide solution and adjust the level to the zero mark and make sure the stop cock is closed. Next, pour 100 ml of distilled water into the allen mayonnaise flask, pipe 10 ml of wine sample and pour into the allen mayonnaise flask filled with 100 ml of distilled water. Next, add 2 or 3 drops of the phenolphthalein indicator solution into the allen main flask. Moreover, begin the titration by adding the sodium hydroxide solution into the allen main flask while continuously stirring. Continue by adding the sodium hydroxide solution until the solution turns to pale pink color, like in this slide. Last step is record the volume of sodium hydroxide solution used. So the outcome of the titration is a light pink coloration. So the lighter the pink, the more accurate the result. The discussion surrounding direct titration in the wine industry can encompass several aspects, including its importance, challenges, and potential alternatives. Here are a few points that could be part of the discussion. First of all, accuracy and reliability. Direct titration is a widely accepted method for determining total acidity in wine due to its simplicity and relatively low cost. However, there may be concerns about the accuracy and reliability of the results obtained through direct titration. Factors such as the choice of indicator and human error during endpoint detection can influence the precision of the analysis. Next is acid composition. Direct titration provides information on the total acidity of the wine sample, but it does not differentiate between the different types of acid present. This limitation can be addressed by employing additional analytical techniques such as hash PLC to identify and quantify specific acids in the wine. Not just that, standardization of the titration solution and the use of consistent procedures across different laboratories or wineries are crucial to ensure comparability of results. The important part is to focus on the importance of standardization, including the development of standardized protocols, training of personnel, and calibration of equipment. While direct titration is a widely used method, advancement in technology and analytical methods may provide alternative approaches to assess acidity in wine. For example, automated titration systems or advanced spectroscopic techniques could offer faster and more precise measurements. Lastly, the discussion can also touch upon the regulatory aspects related to acidity determination in the wine industry. Different regions or countries may have specific requirements or threshold for acidity levels in wine. Understanding and complying with this regulation is crucial for winemakers and discussing their impact on the industry can provide valuable insights. Overall, the discussion surrounding direct titration in the wine industry involves examining accuracy and limitation of the method, exploring alternative techniques, ensuring standardization, and considering the regulatory aspects. This discussion contribute to continuous improvement in the analysis of wine acidity and the overall quality control in wine making processes. Conclusion: Direct titration in wine industry has been obtained once the endpoint of the titration is detected with the help of an indicator as color of the solution changes upon neutralization. By measuring the volume of the titration required to reach the endpoint, it is possible to relate the concentration of the acid to the concentration of the base. The result was achieved once the color of solution changes into light pink.